presence came as a cloud into your sanctuary. Oh God, can we see that today? See you. 
love your ministry. We love your ministry. How I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry. We love your ministry. How I love, how I love, how I love, how I love your ministry. love to come be with us and minister to us so come and renew our minds refresh our hearts and just fill us up we welcome you more of you holy spirit we ask for more in this place right now more of your presence more of you god give us a greater revelation of you jesus we thank you we love you in your name we pray we're now going to be moving into a time of meditation. So I just invite you to close your eyes and just let the word wash over you. Let it repeat again and again in your mind and just take captive all other thoughts and just fix your mind on the word. The word comes from Isaiah 43, verse 18. The Lord says, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old.
Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Behold, I am doing a new thing. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? Spirit, and you fix my eyes 
verse 16 thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea a path in the mighty waters who brings forth chariot and horse army and warrior they lie down they cannot rise they are extinguished quenched like a wick Lord we thank you that you are the one who makes a way in the sea and just as you literally parted the sea for the Israelites you still make paths for your people today when there seems to be no way, you ask us to trust in you and follow your lead. You show us that you can form a path when there were no paths. You show us that you open doors when every door seems shut. So we will turn and trust in you with every step. We will look to see where you are making a way. We trust in you in every circumstance. And I will trust you, God. Where there was no way you made a way for me. I see the path you have for me. It opens up before me as I trust in you. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me, Jesus. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me, Spirit. Oh, Jesus. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me. Oh, open up my eyes to see the path you have for me. Open up my eyes to see the path you have for me, Jesus. For even in the mighty water. path for me to 
that you have called us new creations. The old is dead and gone, and we don't have to dwell on the former things or the days of the old. You've called us yours and rescued us from this world because you delight in us. And in your presence there is fullness of joy, so we choose to delight in you today. Celebrate. Joy comes with the morning. Oh, 
joy comes with your presence, God. Oh, I will dwell in your presence all the days of my life. That's where I belong for eternity. I belong to you, God. I belong to you. See you. 
on you that we can't help but see rivers of life even in the wilderness so even in the desert our eyes will be fixed on you stretching out before me in the wilderness because they are being fulfilled in time we are yes and amen in you so help me to see what you see God. help me walk in this path you've opened up for me with more of you You're filling my vision with more of you I see what you see I see what you see You're filling my vision with more of you You're filling my vision with more of you You're filling my vision with more of you I see what you see I see what you see You're filling my vision with more of you you're filling my vision with more of you. You're filling my vision with more of you. I see what you see. I see what you see. You're filling my vision with more of you, God. You're filling my vision with more of you. You're filling my vision with more of you. I see what you see. I see what you see. I'm starting to see. You see, I see and the springs of water overflowing in the desert. I see your provision when all other seas lie. No matter how dry it may seem, God, I see springs in the wilderness. For you are the living fountain. stand in the wilderness you overflow my cup sky oh your promises will carry me through will carry me through the wilderness your promises will carry me will carry me through the wilderness your promises will carry me through will carry me through your promises will carry me through, will carry me through, through the wilderness. Your promises will carry me through, will carry me through, through the wilderness. Your promises will carry me through, you carry me through, through the wilderness. Your promises will carry me through, will carry me through. Your promises will carry me, will carry me through, through the wilderness. Your promises will carry me through, will carry me through, through the wilderness. Your promises will carry me through, will carry me through, through the wilderness. Your 
promises will carry me through, will carry me through, through the wilderness. Your promises will carry me through, you'll carry me through, through the wilderness. Just take a time to actually think through and meditate through the promises that God has given you for this season. Despite what anything might look like in the natural, let's just take a time to reflect on those promises that God has explicitly given to us to hold on to through the season. are always true so fill our vision with more of you so that we may see what you see and when we walk through the wilderness and when we don't see those promises yet fulfilled we thank you that we will perceive from afar what you are doing and those promises will carry us through the wilderness fill our vision with more of you that we fix our eyes on you and fix our eyes on the promises and not on the circumstances around us. We thank you for this refreshment of faith filling us up right now, God, accompanied with your joy and delight, just in every step of the way, delighting in you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your vision over us right now. In your name we pray, amen. Just 
we are just sinking in this ocean of grace. You've just surrounded us with grace and peace and your joy. And so from this place, as we are just nestled like a baby chick under a mother hen, we thank you that we can see what is on your heart and petition what is on our hearts. We thank you for your great love. In your name we pray. Amen. We're going to be transitioning now into a time of intercession, and we're going to be praying for the Los Angeles and Las Vegas ministry trip, which will be leaving tomorrow. Um, yeah, from this place of just understanding God's, God's overflowing heart and his love, um, not just for us, not just for the team, but to those that they're going to be ministering and partnering with, the churches in Las Vegas and Los Angeles. Let's really uh, petition these things and envision what God is going to do in the States. So I will lead with a topic, and I ask that when I stop praying into the mic that you follow up in your own intercession. Yes, God, we thank you for the team that you have assembled to go out to L.A. and Las Vegas to partner with how you're moving in the U.S. We lift up each member to you, including the sons from afar that will be joining, and we ask for a great unity and love to abound within the team. Let this brotherly love overflow to the ministries that they will partner with. Would you set each leader on this team on a whole nother level of fire that each testimony they speak, every seminar they teach, every prayer that they speak would carry great authority. Thank you that each member on this team carries the hope of glory, which is Christ in them. Let's pray. For your word that it is sharper than a double-edged sword your word shapes us it sanctifies us it replenishes us we pray for your word to be spoken and released powerfully in LA and in Las Vegas 
through pastors Christian and Aaron, through pastors Benjamin and Sonny, we declare right now that every ear that will hear will be open to hear your word. We declare right now hearts to be softened and ready to receive your word. And we declare eyes to be open to see a revelation of Jesus. Let's pray.
just one word All it takes is just one word And your walls will come crumbling down All it takes is one word Jesus and the dead will rise to life Jesus, so would you Raise the dead to life Jesus, raise the dead to life the dead to life, raise the dead to life through your word. Yes, Holy Spirit, we ask that you blow a mighty wind upon this ministry trip, that you would spark flaming fires everywhere this team goes. We pray for an outpouring changing lives forever we thank you that signs and wonders will break out physical healings will manifest addictions will be broken and hope be released through the power of your spirit and in your name we envision and prophesy a mighty outpouring of your spirit marking your people and revealing your glory
that your fire is falling specifically over Thanksgiving Korean Church and Las Vegas Full Gospel. We thank you for the hunger and the yearning in these churches to seek your face. We pray that these churches will be set ablaze with fresh fire and fresh wind to be like a city on a hill. These churches will be the places of wisdom and revelation of the truth of the gospel and continually advance your kingdom forth. Would you establish these two churches by your perfect will? Let's pray. that you're going to burn a blaze in the United States. We thank you, Father, for even the, min the leaders and the preachers of this ministry trip, that they are going in the power of the Holy Spirit. We thank you that the preachers are already in tune with your voice, ready to speak powerfully. We thank you that you have big plans for these next couple weeks. And so we ask that you would have your way. Would you cover your people and move powerfully in them, among them, and through them. We seal these prayers in the power of your name. 
Jesus. Amen. Amen. Uh, right now, I want to ask everyone in the room, minus the keyboardist, to break up into groups of two or three and pray for each other for two or three minutes. And then afterward, we'll give you 10 minutes to pray on your own. Uh, pray for whatever is on your heart. There will be new Philly topics on the TV. And if you're from a different ministry, pray for your own church. So let's split up into groups and pray for each other.
to put me anywhere just put your glory in me and I'll serve anywhere just let me see your beauty just put me anywhere just put your glory in me and I'll serve anywhere just let me see your beauty Just put your glory in me, and I'll serve anywhere. Just let me see your beauty. Put me anywhere. Just put your glory in me, and I'll serve anywhere. Just let me see your beauty. For what do I? I don't have you, Jesus. What in this life could mean any more? You are my rock. You are my glory. You are the lifter of my head. What do I? to you, Lord God, that if we don't have you, we have nothing, Lord. Even if all the prayer requests that we lifted up this morning, even if all those things, Lord God, were fulfilled, were fulfilled and yet we didn't have you, Lord, it would mean absolutely nothing. We thank you, God, that you give us mornings like these, Lord God, to gaze upon your beauty and know that you are worth every sacrifice, every cost, anything that we may be going through, Lord God, any wilderness period that you're taking us through, Lord God, it's worth it all because it's for you. Thank you, God, that you center us around your presence, around your beauty, around your majesty, that our worship to you would be sincere, would be honest, knowing, Lord God, that sometimes things may not always look the way that they should, and yet, Lord God, we have our full satisfaction in knowing that we are yours and that nothing can change that, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this morning awesome work that you've been doing in us even as we gaze upon your beauty just for two hours Lord God this morning we feel renewed we feel refreshed we feel like the more we gaze on you the more we look like you Lord God we thank you Lord that we have all these things in you we have riches and glory in Christ Jesus our Lord this morning we thank you Lord we love you we pray all these things in your precious name Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, every Wednesday morning is such a joy to have um, people come out and really seek the Lord first thing in the day. Um, a quick announcement is that next week, because most of our mission teams are going to be gone um, on the missions field, we're going to be doing um, we're going to be doing K1 watches every single night, Monday through Friday next week. It's our way of supporting the mission teams that we are sending and praying saying that we will pray and mean it uh, so that's what we will do next week so next week we will actually have six watches in total monday through friday will be from 8 p.m to 10 p.m every night and then wednesday morning will remain as usual so monday uh, wednesday morning will still be 9 30 to 11 30. so thank you guys for coming out we'll see you next week hopefully more than once next week come out and help us contend and cover our mission teams and prayers
to you be wholehearted in my Lord. 